I just want to say what's up, okay? Listen. I by all, by no means, not all means, by no means have this life figured out, okay? I mean, I feel like I'm on the track because I'm seeking something greater than anything in this universe. And there's, there's just so much I, I, I feel like I just want to tell you guys. I'm just going to tell you how it changed me. And that's it because the truth is, and I even know for a fact myself, that I did not listen to followers of Christ, Christians, people who proclaimed Jesus Christ as their Lord. I did not listen to them pre-Christianity for myself, before I believed in Christ. They actually made me want to, made me kind of fall away from God even more because I was sick of their preaching. Like, they condemned, they, I felt condemned as if my life wasn't good enough and that pushed me away. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to preach to people and tell them that, you know, you have to follow this step of the Bible in order to get saved and to go to heaven. Like, I, I, I don't know everything. I, the, I just want you to know that I'm not perfect. I have flaws. People, you got to be careful because you can look at somebody, even hang out with them and, and, and get to know them and and be family friends and and still you do not know what they are going through in their lives you don't know what is really going on in somebody's life there are so many hidden features of people's lives that that they don't show because they their their sh their shame and their their guilt or or whatever reason they hide certain things so even people that look happy could be very depressed because you don't know everything that's going on in their lives and their mind that's what's so crazy is our mind is like this this private capsule of all our thoughts and all the things that go on in our lives lives and and nobody knows them but God and, and yourself. And the only thing that I know that is to be true is I know my own experiences, I know my own past, I know my own lifestyle, and I know my own decisions that I make. I know what goes on in my own mind. That's the only truth that I can guarantee you you will believe because you do not know what goes on in somebody else's mind. They may tell you what goes on in their mind. They may act like they are uh, feeling a certain way, but the truth is nobody knows what is in your mind except for yourself. So as myself, I can only tell you what I know to be true about myself. I had a past where I did things that were not uh, good. I went out and I partied. I used to drink beer. I used to, uh, I got arrested for vandalism. I went out and lived in California for two, two and a half years and never had a license, got pulled over for speeding numerous times, missed a court date, had a bench warrant out for my arrest, got pulled over for going over 160 miles an hour, numerous, numerous tickets, came back to Ohio, drove without a license, partied, drank beer, did stupid stuff, all these kind of crazy things, okay? That was before I was on this path to seek a, a greater a greater life, a, a, a meaning, a purpose, okay? Then, I uh, started to slowly get things taken care of and uh, got the interest in uh, Christianity and started seeking what life was all about. Because of my path and where I am today, uh, I've had some more experiences in life that are crazy. I rode a bicycle, jumped on a bike because I'm sick and tired 
of the way the world works. I needed, I needed to find out if there was a God. I just had to because the world was so corrupt and so evil that it just made no sense to me and was was just so depressing to look outside and to see all the scams that go on. So I needed to find out for myself. I jumped on my bicycle and left the world with 300 bucks to my name. And many of you know, I traveled all the way to San Francisco, all the way around the U.S. I didn't go straight there. And I made it there with numerous blessings, numerous answered prayers, and I found God. And I know Him to be true and, and, and real. And Jesus Christ gave me this new passion and desire to absolutely live for others through the experiences that He put in my life. I know for a fact that when I pray and when I go to church and when I think about God and talk to Him and listen to His praise music, I feel better about myself and I get more confidence and joy and live life more fully. I know that to be a fact for myself because I know how my mind works and I know what goes on in my thoughts. The more I get into the world and sin, the farther away I am from God, the worse I feel. I let worldly things, day, daily activities that, that go wrong get me down, but the more and more I stay focused on Jesus Christ and our God, who is love, love people, love, the, the, the better I feel inside. And I'm telling you this only for the sole fact that you understand that there is a possibility that you may believe me and come to realize the same thing that I've realized, and it could change your life. Now, I only say this because of care, because the truth is, I look around and I see so many people let little things get to them and let and, and makes them worry. But the truth is, like, it's all to do with your perception. And once you get the right perception on who and what God is, it literally just throws all your problems, all your worries, all your doubts and your stresses of the world down the drain. And there is nothing more glorious than that. I don't worry about anything of this world and I truly believe that in the Bible, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength, is fact. So when I go down certain paths of life, I try to make them in, line, in alignment with God so that I know they will be successful. Because everything that I have done on this earth so far in the path of Jesus Christ has been successful and I am getting to do a lot of stuff I just praise God and give all glory to God I hold no value in this situation I didn't do anything and I have no power no authority God has chosen to bless me because he loves me and he loves everybody he loves you and he is giving you his love all you have to do is just, what I did was pray a lot and wanted, I just had that desire. It just starts with a little desire to want to know whether or not there is something big in this world and big in life. And I just think it's a glorious thing. I just, I just feel like talking about it all the time because that's how glorious it is. So, I'm going to make future videos. I'm just right now waiting in my car for uh, my brother so we can go to a movie. But I'll tell you what. God is good. God is love. And there should be more of it going around in this evil world. Because I'm telling you, this place stinks.